Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a patron. Now this is a video to help Zora owners set up flaps for their fixed wing models. Now with the Zora, because of all the switches we've got, we can, we can do this. If you are going to have a lot of mixings, uh, switches like for dual rates, you would want to use, possibly use a momentary switch. Well, the follow-up video to this will show you how to do this with a momentary switch. But at the moment, we're going to set it on switch F. So let's switch over to HTX Companion and take a look at the settings, and then we'll switch over to the radio. Now, I've opened the model up. You can see we've got a flapper on model. Now, what we're going to have to do is go to mixes. Now, there you can see our standard four channels. So... We now would have to add to the first channel a line, and we're going to have to add channel five because we are connecting our servos. Obviously, to do this, you'd have to have two servos, one for each aileron. So we're going to look at the first line of our program in there. Now, the way my test rig is set up, this had to wait had to be a minus 100. So you might have to change this. It depends on the way your the orientation of your servos within your wings. Okay, everything else is absolutely standard there. You would then add a line. Now we can do this in here by saying add. I'm not gonna add the line because I've already got it. Then we are gonna double click the second line which we've added. Now here we put the source as max. We're gonna put our weight in. Now the weight will depend on how much you want those slaps to go down. I put 40% in. Uh, you could uh, put what, you know, experiment with this. Then, the next thing we're going to have to is allocate this to a switch. So we've put switch SF in the back position so that we can actuate the, the, the actual flaps and nothing else. We can add delay and make them go down slowly, but um, you, basically if you, if you put a figure in here, the flaps will go down more, more slowly. They won't go down as quickly as they normally would. Okay, we could say okay. Then you make your channel on channel 5. So we double click that, you'd have to make the source input aileron. Then in my case, the weight is minus 100 and everything else will be set left as default. So that's okay. Then you would add a line to this channel. And in here, we will choose the source max, a weight minus 40, and then the switch SF in the back position. And that is everything except for as you know if you watch my videos you know i like to put sounds on so let's go to the special functions and you can see here i've allocated switch sf in the back position play track flaps down and then switch s uh, sf in the uh, forward position play track flaps up so you would know what position your flaps up uh, without having to look at the, at the screen or actually obviously look at the model now let's demonstrate the flaps working if we push simulate Okay, so you can see our ailerons, both channels one and five are working fine. Obviously, they could be different channels for you, but at the moment mine are one and five, and you can see them both working. Now, if I go to switch SF, and you can see our flaps have come down, and, and if we have flaps down, obviously we still have our ailerons working. There we go. And I will, at the end of this video, I'll demonstrate these flaps working on my test rig. Now, OK, let's uh, switch over to the Zero radio and I'll show you the settings there. Now, let's take a look at the settings on the radio. We can hit the model key and we're going to go page across until we come to our mixes. And there we go. You can see the first line. I've added a line to the, the first aileron. And let's just go and take a look at them. And you can see our source is aileron. And in my case, the weight is minus 100. And that would be everything. So we can return out of there. Then we go to our second line that we had to add. So you would say insert after. We're going to edit. So we've got our sources max. And we put our weight in at 40%. And then we've chosen our switch. We want to activate flaps up. the flaps. Flaps down. Flaps there we go and then you would go to channel 5 edit channel 5 and add the source is aileron input and the weight minus 100% in my case and everything else would be default and then you would add a line 
And if I edit this now, we can see the source is max. Our weight is uh, minus 40 and we've selected switch in the back position. Now, if we go on to our, our sounds, our special functions, you can see I'll spe set the special functions up. As promised early on, let me show you this in operation. So I've got the flaps in the normal position up. So you can see my ailerons working. I flick switch, flaps down. you see the flaps go down. All the uh, flapper rods, obviously we're not looking at these flaps, we're looking at the ailerons. You can see they've dropped and flaps they come up. back up. Let me know in the comments if you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you've got anything specifically you'd like to ask me about the Zero Radio or HTX, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.